I should, I, should I preface the question? Okay, so you would like to know, uh, um, point the camera sometimes at her. I do! At, at so you know that I'm, there's a real person. Okay. <laughs> Actually, I took a YouTube subject, but um, what's the difference between um, yeah, they are good. Um, what's the difference between um, uh, resistance training, which would include body weight training, bands, um, um, and like kettlebells or weights and racks? you so 
enjoys the adrenals even more. So the reason why I don't encourage for people to do cardiovascular exercise beyond uh, uh, interval training, and even that I don't push for people until their adrenals are um, repaired, because when your adrenals are damaged, you lose a lot of B vitamins. People don't realize you do cardiovascular, you're losing vitamins and minerals all day, every day. Nobody's talking about that. The malabsorption of our bodies today, the leaky gut, and the gut is connected to your stress. And so people have dysbiosis, leaky gut, and then they go and do like a spin class on top of that. No, you won't get into ketosis. You'll burn muscle the same as the intermittent fasting training. You'll get more sick. Um, you won't be able to repair. You won't have the growth hormone response that you need. You won't get your hormones in balance. You're just becoming more imbalanced with hormones. It creates more pregnenolone steel, more robbing of the sex hormones. Um, it's just the whole cycle is the, uh, the intermittent fasting I was talking about. So with time under tension, slow, okay, we're having joggers go by, for example. In their mind, they think that they're going like, Nobody actually runs because they think, Why you? especially when you're young, when you're in your early 30s and 20s, you're not like, I want to build a great heart. No, they do it because they want to lose weight now. You do release endorphins. There is a runner's high. There's something special. People get into this like zen meditative state when they run. But when you stop is when the backlash of all the damage happens. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. But um, it's the same thing with any diet or any lifestyle or anything that you do. You have to be very aware and conscious and very safe at the way you approach things. And us humans are too impatient for that. If you don't believe me, Watch yourself look at the spinning ball on your computer. You about lose your mind when a page doesn't pull up. So, you know, it's that dichotomy, right? Running makes you feel like a release of tension. You can just go into your own world. But if you have damaged adrenals, then when you're not running is when the problems come and the lack of sleep and the inflammation and the, the hormonal imbalances. That's the reason why I tell people start with weight training because it puts less stress on your adrenals. Do not train to failure. Do not think about hypertrophy. When you're doing a diet like this, advancing low carb, paleo, keto, you need to heal the body first before you put that load and that pressure on the body. And then when you're in ketosis like I am, go for it. Do your cardio in a smart way and do your lifting, your power lifting, your CrossFit. Be smart, conscious, take breaks, and allow the body to recover.